And all right. And this is Demon and Eggman. Yes. Now, is it actually Demon or is it? People say D3 Man a lot. Is Pe it? People say D3 Man. Uh, I put the three in there because uh, at the time I played competitive Pokemon. Okay, that's. And I, I needed a unique name. Yeah. But uh, we're going right into this match. This is winners yeah. quarters. We've got Law vs. A Wall. Oh, I gotta play. Talk to you guys later. All right, this is Fox Peach. Um, matchup generally considered very in Fox's favor. Uh, Fox is gonna have to play a little bit slower, kind of tack on some laser damage, but it's not very fun for Peach. But A-Wall is getting in there. Peach has a stellar punish game on Fox, so you can't count that out. Oh, Law with some nice shield pressure and gets the shield poke back here. All right. Okay, A-Wall breaks out with an air. Takes a trade. Well, Law's got some... Pretty good shield pressure. Peach doesn't have very many sh out of shield options. It doesn't take much to pressure she. Oh, and that down smash. It's gonna end that stock. Oh wow, Awol comes up with the forward air. It looks like I'm gonna be joined on the mic by uh, DMX here. If he doesn't fall over. I could have died. You know. All Interesting right. setup we have here. I, who is Law? I've never seen him before. I have not seen him before either. He's a very good Fox player. He's playing this matchup very well. It's, it seems that way. He's got some really good shield pressure. Which, against a player like Peach, you definitely need it. Because, you know, down smash is kind of terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do nasty things to every single character in this game. Especially with somebody like Peach, she has um, really good out of shield options like Nair. Mm -hmm. So what's been going on in the set? Like, what what exactly has Law been doing that's been keeping A Wall on the edge? Uh, he's been doing the basic Fox thing, where you kind of run around, uh, wave land around the platforms, and just stay at a distance and then. Does jump he ever in. shoot lasers or anything? Uh, he has not shot any lasers yet. Generally, uh, something you'll see a lot from a Peach matchup. Right. So basically, he's just been like running around and just catching Peach, uh, bait, like basically baiting and stuff yeah. like that. Just catch him with the up airs, up smashes. That's really all it takes. Um, you have to be willing to play slow against Peach, because Peach will steal that lead from you with her uh, punish game. That, and also, uh, what Law is doing right now that I've noticed is that uh, he's also been using the platform to his, like, fullest. Because whenever you're playing against uh, solo characters like Peach and Jigglypuff, it's almost best that, like, you're play as you're playing a fast character to move around the platforms to, to make it impossible for Peach to catch you. Oh, yeah, and as you say that, um, Law shows us that camping on top of platform is very good against Peach. Oh, Peach can't. Sure. Peach has no way to get up there very quickly. And she kind of just has to wait it out. And we've seen that with Westwalls versus Armada, too. Like, you know, he was just staying on the platform that whole time, and Armada had no choice. Yeah, yeah. he couldn't do anything. And, you know, Law is just doing the same exact thing. Oh, nice he catches the shine spike. Wow, and AWOL down a game against Law. I wonder where he'll go here. I wonder where he comes from. Nebraska, maybe? I, yeah, I do wonder. <laughs> I, I am not sure. I want to know who this kid is. This kid, this box is um, surprising. I can see him maybe going to Dreamland. I think AWOL would ban Fountain. Oh, I guess not. Maybe the other way around. Uh, well, I feel like in a situation like that, uh, it, you can go to either stage. Like, Peach is good on both the Kirby stages. Oh, so, yeah. like, if he banned one, he, he can, he'll just go to the other. AWOL. AWOL takes center stage early on. He's also switch. He was actually being what uh, his name implies, a wall. Catches that early fair. Is he going to get the edge guard now? He thought he was going to go for the ledge. That's why he was doing that dare there. Oh, catch him with a turn up? That could... See... In that position, I don't think AWOL would have been able to get the edge guard if Law got the super sweet angle, and that's what exactly he was going for. So, oh, yeah, yeah. It was unfortunate yeah, he was set for up Law. for the back here. See, Law's okay. doing the exact same thing that he was doing on Battlefield, but it's a lot harder because those two platforms can disappear. Oh, yeah, it's much harder to platform camp. That top platform is still up there, but it's a lot harder to get to. It's also a lot lower, too. Like, Battlefield and Dreamlight are, like, the only stages where you can use the top, pl top platform like that. Yeah. And see, he's getting a lot of shield pokes in AWOL, too. Seems AWOL's spending a lot of time in shield. You kind of have to against a character like Fox, and whenever you have pristine pressure like Law does, you don't really have any other choice but to hold shield until they make a mistake. Oh, yeah, and you see a lot nice of uh, high-level peaches actually opt for power shields just to not have that shield stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, we're starting to get into, like, this uh, strange meta in the melee where, like, um, 
you're, you're trying to actually like power shield everything because you can get so many options out of it, like so many great defensive options. Yeah, and it seems like it was so recent that people were thinking power shielding Falco lasers was out of question. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And now people are like doing it like 50-50. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, catch side B. What was that? Uh, I, like a float cancel in there? I believe it was an air, yes. With that knockback. Regardless, good stuff by AWOL. He has a pretty commanding lead at this stage. This is exactly what he needed, uh, apparently. Yeah. And Peach is not a character to drop a lead. You know, it's really hard to actually take the lead from a floaty. Because oh, yeah. it's they, like, they can just lame you out. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah you could, they could. I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly call it lame, but yeah, <laughs> basically it's something like that. It's very hard to like catch a Peach whenever they're in, when yeah. she's in the lead. Oh, yeah. Nice up smash. <laughs> Those traditional Fox stuff, just up smash until she's dead. Yeah. I'm trying to get something to start with these up airs. Oh, another thing that's kind of dangerous about Peach with the lead is that uh, she trades with everything. So you'll just be, like, gathering more and more percent as you keep going. Nice turn up. It looks like AWOL takes it. One thing you have to be careful with with Peach is uh, I noticed Law is taking or throwing out a lot of up airs, short up up airs, mm -hmm. and you have to be careful. With, she'll crouch cancel those at lower percents, maybe dodge the second hit, and she can actually down smash out of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, like, any time that Peach uh, crouch cancels anything, you can almost always expect a down smash to happen afterwards. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're going to Pokemon Stadium. Classic Fox counter pick here. Exactly. Right? Like... A lot of people, you know, like, this has been... Lasers. What's that? He's finally pulling out lasers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this is this stage to definitely do it on. This is traditionally what most people would believe is a, a fantastic Fox counter pick. While in the higher level, like, a higher spectrum of players, they're starting to, like, disagree with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of Marths at a higher level are, like, starting to like this stage. But, uh, you know, this is a different matchup, so uh, I would say that definitely uh, this is a good uh, kind of pick. Oh, Oh yeah, especially with its low ceiling. Like he's got the room to run around and then he can go with up smash so early. But all the positional advantage, but he misses it with that whiff up smash. And ends up losing his stock as a result. You know, this is something we haven't seen from Law yet. This is uh, he's playing back and he's shooting the lasers. Maybe he just wasn't comfortable with the close quarters of Fountain or even Battlefield. Yeah, that's true. Like, this is a stage where Fox can just run around and uh, he, even if he's shooting lasers and the Peach approaches, he can actually, like, you know, be able to evade that. It's caught in the down smash. He had good DI out though. Like what AOL is doing right there. There's no way that the Fox can reach him. Oh, and he gets caught in that down smash again. The platform was slightly up too, so like he actually got hit by a lot of the hits as a result. We might actually get to see a little bit of a camp fest here. Oh no, it looks like oh, Law is starting to become aggressive. Oh, and he gets caught in that down smash again. That seems like we've always gotten hit by that stuff. Yeah, I think Law was better off just staying, you yeah. know, just camping, waiting until the tra transformation was over. Yeah, they generally say all the transformations are in Fox's favor, but that doesn't mean you can just throw away your approaches like that. Exactly. Like, it, even if it is slightly in his favor, you know, just one small mistake, you know, people can do the same to Fox, what Fox can do to other people, you know, it's just super hard punishes as a result of the walls. Oh, nice, nice awesome. running up smash. Yeah, he covers that landing. It's looking almost completely even. It, it, it is pretty much even. Like, Fox can just tear away at Peach like, just constantly. Like, they, they just pile on for oh, so yeah. fast. If Peach gets a grab close to the ledge, she can also end it. Or a situation like this. Oh, but he misses. I liked what Law did there because he actually recovered high, which made it impossible for AWOL to get that turn. Oh, AWOL is really putting in work with those down smashes. As any Peach would. Catches him with the fair. You know, AWOL actually loves to do those things a lot. It's very deceptive. Mm -hmm. You never you never expect when exactly they're going to come in with that fair. And it's always such a weird timing, too. Yeah, because you always see the Peach floating there, and you think, like, they're just sitting there. I can jump in and hit them, and then the second you go in is when they fall backwards and bury you and you get hit. Right now, it's pretty much dead even. This is actually really terrifying. We might actually get to see an upset. I believe it would be an upset. <laughs> yeah. I would call this an upset. Wow, they're both playing so safe right now. And when Law oh goes in, God, oh wow, he, that he had the tech read too, but he just didn't go far enough. Somehow AWOL manages to get that trade on that up air. Yeah, right now AWOL is playing so scared at the moment. He gets the oh, stitch he gets the though. Stitch face. Oh. oh my God, oh, wow. what is happening? That shield what? was so tiny. I couldn't, I couldn't even see that shield. It was like invisible. <laughs> it was blending in with their hair. 
Oh my god. After something like that, I imagine that both players are flustered at the moment. And he gets that up there. Oh, that's wow. it. And Law takes it. So I'm guessing Law came from Nevada. I mean, Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> Nevada. Nevada. Uh, because all of his homies in the background were true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, can see, I can see exactly what you're saying. Good um, stuff to Law. Yeah, situation with that Stitch as a Fox player. Thinking shine isn't necessarily, in my opinion, something you would think right away. Yeah. You know, you're so used to not using shine as a, re a reflector, but that was so clutch for him to yeah, pull that no out. No kidding. Like, that was that was really smart thinking right there. Like, just really fast. Yeah, you're right. I would never expect something yeah. like that. I might have.